In this video, we're going to show how to sit in a way that you can properly engage your hara. We're going to use the hara meter as a way to uh, help you make sure that you're engaging the muscles of the hara, hara properly. I'm going to turn it over to Alex now, who will do the demonstration. Okay, so in this application of the hara meter, we're sitting on a chair. I'm going to turn sideways so that you have a different view. So if you're going to use one app, so we're going to use the hara meter as uh, the way to test, but the application for this might be if you were going to be doing your seated meditation uh, in a chair position. And if that's the case, um, sitting on, not using the back of a chair, but sitting on a chair such that you're on the front of the edge so that you can have weight through, the, through your feet and the balls of your feet is going to provide the best opportunity uh, to work with your breath and posture in a, in a chair position. So I'm going to go ahead and use the meter. So I'm, as always, I'm going to close the valve and pump it up to my own uh, set point. And so I'm at a good set point. And now to practice my breathing, uh, I'm going to first I'm going to do a few uh, breaths to try it, and then I'm going to work with my posture and see if I can optimize how I'm using my breath and posture. So I'm going, to, I'm going to try my hot breathing uh, on my own as a starting point. So then a few things I'm going to start to play with are the orientation of my spine uh, over my pelvis. And noticing how my sit bones, that's the two bones in the bottom of the pelvis, are connected to the, the seat. From there, I am going to make sure I feel that connection as well as that through my feet, because um, those are my base. My sit bones and my pelvis, the feet on the ground are my base, and my upper body and spinal column is resting over that base. And I'm going to do a little a quick centering process just to get a feel for the orientation of the spine to the base. We have a bit of a rotation with a spiraling to center. Find that. And now I'm going to work with a lift through the top of the head with the chin in, not tucked in, but because of the lift at the top of the head, drawing my spine into a vertical position. I'm going to check the meter again. As always, what I'm looking to do is to develop a relatively full inhalation on the, on the inhalation and then a slow, steady exhalation that maintains my, uh, my set point on the meter. And I'm doing that successfully on the meter, and then what I'm working to do is optimize my posture for maximum stability and lift, in, but not in a rigid way, but a relaxed way. And I'm observing the effects on the meter and then also the extent to which, at breath by breath, as I settle into this exercise, am I able to lengthen my exhalation? 